So, welcome back there. It's the uh, next day after the last video. We're pumping out the videos. So yeah, we're gonna uh, hopefully uh, go to this mart today. Nice sun again, compared to what we've had, like I say, on the last video we had in the last week or so. But uh, yeah, quite blustery still. But uh, yeah, hopefully this bay we're gonna go to, where we can uh, find a little bit of shelter and hopefully use a surface lure. So we're gonna make our way down to the mark. Uh, yeah, just come to the video, if you hit the like button, if you're new around here, subscribe, share the channel. Uh, only you legends can do that and you've uh, yeah been doing it for so long now so yeah keep hitting the like button and how's the channel grow and uh yeah we'll see you down at the mark i'll give you a quick run through what we're going to be using and hopefully now a big bass come on so a quick rundown of what we're going to be using we've got my acoma uh, bass reel so nice and cheap and cheerful but uh, yeah, does the business. I've uh, got 24 pound braid on there, as you can see there. We've got my Savage Gear SGS4, eight to 44 gram, nine foot two spinning rod. I'm just gonna use the Pachinko hollow bait to start off with. and see how that goes. So yeah, hopefully we get a bass. First cast in the water. Come on you basils. Very weedy um, mark this, full of boulders. Ties just turned, just coming up. So as that tide hopefully comes in, the bass will come on the feed. As we were fishing on the last trip, it was tide dropping. Oh yeah, perfect conditions. Still very dirty water though, but uh, yeah, we can't do anything about that. But this lure definitely looks a business. New lure for Mr. Fish, beast. Come on, you bass. Pachinko's cast really well as well. And we're doing is twitching that rod. Not too fast, making it like an injured bait fish. And hopefully the bass will uh, come and absolutely munch it. Big tide still as well. So our tide's gonna come in pretty quick. Yeah, good range of uh, area to fish, you can see there. Good vast majority with the fish. So, it's got to be a bass in here. Dee -dee -dee. Bit of weed in the water. Don't want anything like that on the lure, that's for sure. Oh, fish on, guys. Just changed over to the crazy sun deal. First cast of it, boom. Now, I've got a clue how I'm getting this up. Right out there, hit me straight away, I don't know. Right. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be interesting, because it's big waves. I'll wait for the big fog, guys. <laughs> uh, right, gotta be careful of the waves in here as well. Hop on here. Oh, not a big fish, try and bring him in on this wave. Oh, there we go. Sorry about the filming. Sketchy, sketchy, not a bad fish, actually. Oh, lovely job. Right, let's get off these rocks before the big waves come in. <laughs> uh, right. Right, we're at some safe ground. I'll get him up, guys, get you a better shot. Yes, you beauty. Just changed over to that crazy uh, sun deal. So I couldn't get any range on um, any other lure. And yeah, a lovely little pound and a half bass. They actually nailed that lure. But uh, yeah, sun deal. I see you munched. So yes, yeah, a lovely start. Happy days. Get him off the hook. And uh, yeah, get him return. And as that tide comes in, hopefully more bass come on the feed. There you go, guys. Lovely basil. You beauty. Big old mouth on it. So don't be scared to use big lures. You little beauty. Let's get it return. All right, let's get him back. Come on, buddy. Oh, lovely bass. Abs look at that with the sun on it. Absolutely stunning. Probably a pound, whoa, pound, pound and a half bass. Little cracker. I don't want to get too close to the water because that tide's pumping. But yeah, you go back nice and healthy. Cheers, buddy. Little kiss. You beauty. Happy days. Cheerio. Straight down. Well, this is definitely the conditions you want for bass, guys. And definitely the, um, yeah, rugged coastline that the bass will feed on. 
full of boulders, white swell. The bass will be harboring up and we're nailing them. Come on. Right, let's get back out there. The crazy was a bit battered, but it might be good for one more bass. <laughs> but yeah, we're quite a hike up. We're casting straight out in front of us, quite a range. But that seems to be where the bass are. Hopefully there's another one in here. He more or less hit me straight away. So there's one school in here, I expect there to be more. So we've got pretty big tides today, so our tide's gonna fondle in pretty quick. But yeah, it's nice to get two trips in and two bass. Be nice if there's another one in here. So what we're doing with the crazy old odd twitch, but nothing special. Just quite slow retrieve. And that's simple as it gets. Oh, come on. I'm happy with that though. Really happy. Be nice if there's another one in here. As that tide does rush in, I'd expect there to be more in here. Definitely. Come on, you basils. Oh, what better way to spend a couple of hours than out on the rocks chasing bass? Have a change of lure, guys. I'm gonna give the Savage Gear lemon back a go. It's a bit battered, I need to put a new body back on it. But uh, yeah, give it a go. Maybe a bit of a different collar, the bass might switch on. But yeah, we've got all different ranges. We've got the JJ Minnows there, we've got Pachinkos, we've got Esposites, we've got the Stories. You name it, we got it to try. So yeah, hopefully, we'll find a lure that catches another one. But yeah, yeah, we've had one. Out in the sun, what more do you want? What you're looking for, guys, when you're uh, bass fishing, as the tide's racing like that, you see the waves cast towards the back of the heads. And normally the bass will be sat there waiting to ambush any prey. You've got the chance of losing the lure, but you've got the chance of getting that big bass as well. It's a bit of a, yeah, hit or miss, really. Just be on twitch. And hopefully get more. Come on. All right, a few more casts here, and then we're going to head back the other way. Slowly make our way back. So only had an hour, hour and a half spare, so it would have been nice to have fished here for a good couple more hours. As that tide really bursts in, but doesn't matter. We've had a bass. 
and hopefully got a, uh, hopefully a special bass trip coming up in the near future. So uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe not to miss the uh, video that's coming up because hopefully it's a special one. I'm not going to say any more, but uh, yeah. So we're slowly making our way back now guys to where we first started that tide should have come up a little bit now but uh yeah so i was uh limited to a bit of time but we'll have a couple more chops on the way back and uh yeah hopefully get one more but uh yeah just been nice i see to get a couple of days out uh yesterday and uh out today just nice to get back out on the lures really sun out i say rubbish weather we've had still pretty blustery you can probably hear on the camera but uh yeah big things to come from like the channel we're going to be uh, upgrading our camera system so i do all my filming off my phone hence why it's quite a bit of a uh, wind noise normally but uh yeah we're going to be upgrading to a new gopro and a new setup so the video is going to be bigger and better coming up so uh yeah so if you're not uh, subscribed i'll get subscribed because uh, yeah, it's big things to come and hopefully the next video is going to be a good one as well so uh, yeah, I'll say it's not done yet. A few more chops for the next mark and see if we can get one more. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the sun and the blue sky for a change. Beautiful. All right, right at the last destination of the day. So we can now, one more. We're using the uh, Bora Mollet at the moment. I am Ayla. Very shallow diving there, so. That's what we need in this area because it's very snaggy. But yeah, I've never done well on the IMA lures for some reason. Probably haven't used them enough. But uh, yeah, for some reason, never caught. But I've had one bass on them, I think. And that's it. Uh, give you a quick shy. Cracking little lure. Looks like the mullet. But uh, yeah, maybe start using it a little bit more. I'm on the bass. You wouldn't expect the bass to be uh, this close in, but they will. They'll come right up the beach and feed on any bait fish uh, leaving as the tide comes up. You'd be amazed. I have a few flicks of this and then put a soft plastic on to end the session, I think. Well, the action on this lure is amazing. Really is good. I'm stuck in a bit of weed. <laughs> and I uh, yeah, have a few more flicks with this and then change over quickly. Have a few chops with that. And then, uh, yeah, call it a day, I think. So, that's going to do it for another trip, guys. Uh, one bass, which I'm pretty uh, happy to have had, to be honest. I say, two trips in two days. Can't be bad. Had two bass. So, yeah. It's just nice to get back out, out the wind a little bit. It's on the trip there, uh, yeah. Uh, the other day, it wasn't too nice with wind in the face. But uh, yeah, certain conditions for the bad ones, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, I said if you enjoyed this one, please uh, like the video, subscribe, and uh, yeah, share the channel. So there's big plans for the uh, channel, big upgrades coming. So uh, yes, stay tuned. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one today nice to get a video back out on the channel to be honest and uh, yeah get home do some editing and uh, yeah get the videos out so yeah happy days hope you've enjoyed it i'll see you on the next one soon have a wonderful week